Alright guys, welcome to your 10th Ruby tutorial, and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about string functions and also arguments, but before we do, I want to tell you guys a pretty cool story. About three days ago, I was DDing for my friends because they were drinking a little bit, and it was about 2 in the morning, and we decided to go to Denny's, and when we got to Denny's, I saw this cute girl in another section, so we were just all goofing around, so, you know, just for fun, I decided to tell the waitress to buy her a milkshake for me, so the waitress got her a milkshake, and she went in and brought it over to the girl, and the girl was like, uh, you know, just giggling and stuff, and I went over and I talked to her, and I gave her my number because I was too afraid to ask her for her number I know I'm a wimp but anyways right before I started this tutorial she called me and we talked on the phone for about an hour and we're going out this weekend to the movie so thank you thank you that's what happens when you buy girls milkshakes at Denny's so anyways I just need to tell someone because I'm super excited and she is super cute but let's go ahead and learn about string functions and arguments hopefully I could stay on topic so you know how I said that methods pretty much do something, they pretty much have a job. Well, some methods need additional information in order to work. For example, say you built this awesome method that pretty much took pounds and converted it to kilograms. Well, in order for this method to work, it would of course need to know the number of pounds it was supposed to convert. So say you made another method that opens a website. Well, in order for it to know what website to open, you might need to give it the URL of the website. So some methods just need additional information in order to work. So whenever a method needs additional information, you put the method information inside parentheses. So say you have that method called convert libs, which pretty much converted pounds to kilograms. Well, you would type the additional information such as 324 inside the parentheses. So a couple of terms that you may need to know if you guys are taking a test or I don't know, maybe you're in a class in high school or college, make sure you remember this. The additional information, in this case the number 324, is called an argument. Now whenever you give the information to your method, it's called passing information in or passing in the information. Simple enough. So basically, in this case, we have a method called convert pounds and we passed in 324. Simple enough. So now let's go ahead and of course this convert pounds method we never made. So let's see this in a real example. Now aside from having to write kernel puts and all the different variations of how we can write puts, we can also write it like this. Puts of course needs additional information in order to work. It needs a string of text some text to print out on the screen. Now since that is additional information we have the option of putting it in between parentheses. So instead of just writing a space in a string of text that we want to print out we can put that string of text inside parentheses. So let's just go ahead and print out the word bacon hit enter and check it out. It just prints out bacon. So in this case in this scenario we would say that the puts method takes one argument and we passed in the word bacon. Simple enough. So I just want to talk to you guys about this and that story. Basically that I'm going to the movies with this pretty girl from Denny's. That's the main part of this tutorial. But on the side, remember this. Sometimes methods need additional information in order to work. When they do, it's called an argument or I want to mention this sometimes it's called a parameter and whenever we give the information in it's called passing it in so in the next tutorial I'm actually gonna save all the string functions and something else something special for the next lesson so thank you guys for watching and by the way I'll keep you guys updated about what happens this weekend but uh yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time